Hey everybody, what's going on? We're gonna take a look here at uh, the new uh, 7 inch tablet Hisense 07 Pro. This is the new uh, quad core processor tablet that came out uh, back in or was announced back in May. Uh, came out about a week ago. It's available at Walmart for 149. So let's go ahead and recap uh, some of the specs quick. So he, this is what comes in the box. As you can see here, the, of course, the instructions. You get the USB cable to charge it and the connector for the USB cable. Uh, so as far as the specs, guys, uh, we have an NVIDIA Tegra uh, 3 quad-core processor, 1.3 gigahertz. We have capacity touch, 7-inch screen. Uh, resolution is a 1280 by 800, high-definition IPS. We have a rear camera with a 5 megapixel with flash. Uh, 2 megapixel from facing camera, Wi-Fi connectivity, stereo speakers, micro USB, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. We have an Android 4.2 Jelly Bean operating system, uh, 1 gigabyte of RAM. We have a micro SD card uh, slot and it takes up to 32 gigabytes. We have Bluetooth connectivity 3.0, uh, GPS, NFC. We have a battery with uh, 4,000 milliamps, and uh, that's uh, that's about it. Though. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, the tablet. Let's go ahead and start with a quadrant test. All right, guys. So we got the benchmark uh, score right now. Let's go ahead and take a look. So our score is uh, 4,084. I will say a little bit low for a quad core processor, but you know, it's still pretty decent. So let's go ahead and open different applications and see how the tablet uh, performs. All right, so let's go ahead and open Gmail here. Gmail. All right, guys, so here is a Gmail. You can swipe to the right and switch between one account and another, get all check all the folders, whatever. So that's a Gmail. Let's go ahead and take a look at Yahoo email. There's Yahoo. Uh, let's go ahead and open the market. Uh, let's go ahead and open Facebook. Here's Facebook. And let's go ahead and open a picture and do the zoom in and zoom out. Let's open this one here. There's a zoom in and zoom out. As you can see, it's very responsive. It works really good with a quad core processor. So that's Facebook. Uh, let's see if we can open another picture. Let's uh, do this one right here with these two girls. Zoom in and zoom out. Responsive, quick, no problem. So that was Facebook. Uh, let's take a look at the browser. So here's Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and do a voice search actually. Walmart. So there you go, there is a voice search looking for Walmart website. Let's go ahead and open another tab. CNN. So there is CNN page. It's working pretty good. Let's go ahead and open another one.
this website is loaded with a lot of galleries so let's go ahead and see if uh, if it's able to open the galleries quick so let's find some galleries here let's go ahead and open this one right here and let's go ahead and see if we can open all the galleries and do a zoom in with the pictures so far so good as you guys can see it's opening the pages pretty quick let's go ahead and zoom in this picture zoom in and zoom out is good pretty quick responsive so that's as far as the google chrome browser guys let's take a look now at uh, other applications all right let's take a look at this uh, application here from google what's the weather like So as you can see, it's working fine. It is playing the weather there, very accurate. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, open a voice search. Walmart. And uh, let's see if we can actually use the maps. And let's go ahead and use the navigation. Directions. Driving navigations. Here's a different map uh, layer. Here is zoom in and zoom out using the map, so as you can see it works fine. So that's as far as the maps, uh, Google search or Google voice and the navigation guys. Let's take a look at oh, you guys. Uh, let's take a look here at this video in 1080p. There's the speakers right here. No. What year is this one? Oh seven. Yeah, the. And I'm sorry, this video was actually well. No, actually, I take it back, guys. This video was taken in seven in 1080p. The resolution of the tablet is 720p. How do you lower the car now? So that's a look at YouTube, guys. Uh, playing a 1080p video. Uh, with a resolution of 720 and also testing the, the speakers pretty nice sound as you can see the tablet seems to be pretty quick very responsive uh, let's take a look at the camera interface now all right guys so as far as the camera interface this is what we have here pretty simple interface uh, you can switch it uh, down here between panoramic uh, video and uh, pictures right there uh, that's a camera mode right now that's a recording mode there's no zoom in or zoom out or pause just a pretty simple uh, video uh, option and pictures as far as the settings uh, we click right here we get this uh, display here in the middle uh, you can uh, change uh, the setting for the flash 
Uh, you can also change between the, the rear and the front facing camera. There is a front facing camera at 2 megapixel. And then you can click here to change the settings for scene, scene mode. You get the auto, action, night, sunset. Uh, you can do the store location, picture size, you get 5 megapixel. Uh, focus mode, you get the auto focus or infinity. And you can change the storage uh, position for the for the video camera or the picture. So I'm, I'm gonna show you right now a couple of samples of pictures. All right, guys, I apologize, it's getting here dark. Uh, but here's a 720p video uh, taken with this uh, tablet. So as you guys can see, the picture looks pretty clear in the 720 high definition mode. Uh, so that's a video sample, guys. Uh, let's take a look now at a couple of pictures taken with the device. So that's a picture in 5 megapixel mode. Pretty clear, nice uh, image. Here's another one. Responsive when doing the zoom in and zoom out. So that's as far as the camera, guys, in terms of the pictures and video. All right, guys, another cool thing about this tablet, it comes with uh, the option of uh, TV remote, as you can see right here. So you can control with this uh, application your TV. I'm not gonna be able to do this right now because it's gonna take some time, but basically you're gonna follow the steps and do basically the setup and pair the tablet to your TV. So you're gonna be able to control your TV using the tablet, be able to change the channels, uh, turn up uh, the volume up and down, etc. So that's as far as that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is a couple of um, high graphics uh, games here just to test the performance. So let's go ahead and open this game here, Iron Man. Analysis indicates AIM technology. Impossible. AIM fell apart after what happened to kill you. All right, guys, so we're looking at the game here, Iron Man. This game has a very high graphics, heavy graphics. So as you can see, the tablet uh, performs really, really good. Also, nice, nice uh, definition with the 720p uh, uh, screen resolution. So anyways guys, that was the Iron Man uh, game. Uh, there's another game right, I want to show So I had to actually come inside of my house. It was getting too dark outside. So here is this game called Nova Bench. I'm sorry, Nova 3. A, a really cool game with a lot of uh, graphics.
All right, guys, so I'm gonna probably end the review here. Sorry, I'm not that good at that game, but anyways, uh, this is uh, the new um, uh, seven inch quad core tablet, Hisense 07 Pro. Uh, really nice uh, performance, uh, high definition screen, a very affordable tablet uh, for 149 at Walmart. I hope you like the review. Subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Here's one more uh, look at the, uh, the device before I let you go. As you can see, really nice uh, looking device, a uh, thin profile. Nice uh, rear camera here with flash. We get this uh, speaker grills right here. And here's a uh, next to the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 so that's all I have for now guys uh, subscribe thanks for watching